Every sport requires talent and natural ability, but some positions are much more difficult than others. These athletes give everything they have so they can represent the United States in international water polo. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest positions in sports. That puck could not have gone in unless Anderson put it in. That was an impossible angle to score on. For this list, we're focusing on the positions from a variety of sports that are toughest to play from both a physical and technical standpoint. Opportunity in front. Shot saved by Babson. Unbelievable. Number 10, center basketball. O'Neal runs the floor, takes it all the way. Some people believe that basketball isn't a physical game but anyone who's ever played the center position will say otherwise. Easy one for G, give it off to AD. Also known as the five, centers require height, weight, and strength in order to be successful. They're responsible for posting up down low under the basket, and they take a lot of physical contact from defenders. When you drive to the front, you gotta maintain body contact. They also need to be able to defend the rim on the defensive end while having the stamina to run up and down the court with the smaller, quicker players. In short, it's tough for a team to succeed without a talented big man. Shot clock still winding. Davis comes up with it and fires it down. Number nine, wicket keeper, cricket. Hit him, Matt. Oh, it's out. Yeah, that could be out. That's a terrific piece of work by uh, Matthew Wade. Fielding the ball in cricket is incredibly difficult, but no one has it tougher than the wicket keeper. So, okay, so the idea is you stay down as low as you can till the ball bounces, and then you come up with the bounce. This player stands behind the wicket and is responsible for catching any ball that has nicked the batsman's bat, and for preventing runs being scored by stopping the ball if it gets by the batsman. Not only that, the wicket keeper may also be tapped to bowl, making him the renaissance man on the team as well. This is one of the more physically demanding positions in the sport, as evidenced by the fact that the wicket keeper is the only player on the field who can wear leg guards and gloves. This position requires incredible reflexes and a whole lot of courage. Oh, and even better, because Mars is gonna go. Number eight, catcher, baseball. There he goes, and Molina from his knees, oh! Sticking with a similar theme, the catcher is responsible for catching the pitches delivered by the pitcher. What makes this position so tough is the number of different responsibilities that come with it. Swing and a miss, close his throw, double play! For example, the catcher typically calls the game, which means he has to know each batter's strengths and weaknesses to call the right pitches at the right time. He's responsible for preventing base runners from stealing bases, meaning he has to have a strong arm, and he typically aligns the defensive fielders. Oh, and he also has to catch a 100 mile per hour fastball while remaining in a crouch position for nine innings. Oh, what a throw, he got him! A perfect throw by Cervelli! Number seven, all positions, water polo. One time at two meters, so SC had to go the long way around the horn. While there are several different positions in water polo, We've included all water polo players for the number seven spot on our list. These players need to be exceptional swimmers as they play in a deep pool that limits or prevents them from standing. As such, they also need excellent stamina to be able to swim constantly. They also need to be coordinated enough to catch and shoot the ball with just one hand. And although you may not be able to see it, there is a lot of physical contact that happens above and below the water. Morelli inside to Nick Bell as he's in front. Their first goal in an hour. Number six, goalie lacrosse. What a save by Playing goalie seems easy enough. All you do is keep the ball out of the net. While it may be simple, it definitely isn't easy. Lacrosse goalies need to be fearless, and not only because professional lacrosse players can shoot the ball at over 100 miles per hour. They also must have lightning fast reflexes and short memories, since many lacrosse games end with a ton of goals scored. To succeed, it's best to forget these as quickly as possible and focus on your next move. Finally, lacrosse goalies have a larger cross on their stick, which makes it easier to stop the ball, but makes it much harder to pass the ball to players on their team. Nice speed to Crowley who gets underneath, save out. Number five, scrum half, rugby. When you just want to get in there and get it away, it's about getting the ball from A to B as quick as you can. Rugby is one of the most physically demanding sports there is. So all players on the field need physical strength 
and a lot of toughness and durability. The scrum half, or halfback, however, needs to be able to control the game as well. They're typically the first person to receive the ball from the dummy half, and thus must make the important decision on which way to lead the attack. The scrum half needs to be one of the most reliable players on the team, who knows the ins and outs of their squad's attack structure. The guards' eyes are off, I know I can attack him. If he's on me, I know I've got to use, I've got to use my forwards, I've got to use the big guys around the corner. Number 4. Pitcher, Baseball 2-2. Two -two. Swung out a misty, struck him out. The physical requirements of pitching alone make it one of the most difficult positions in sports. While they aren't getting tackled, the repeated throwing motion the pitcher makes puts a significant amount of strain on their arm and elbow, particularly the ones who throw breaking pitches. Ooh, look at that, sweetheart! In fact, one study showed that the shoulder rotation in pitching is the fastest motion of any human activity. Pitchers also need to have tremendous mental toughness when they screw up. Everyone in the stadium and watching on TV knows it. League field with the ball and look past Uribe to an empty third base and then committed another error. Number three, quarterback, American football. Brady with a hitch and a throw to the left and it's caught by LaFell. Similar to pitching, throwing a football puts a tremendous amount of stress on the arm. Quarterbacks have to deal with a lot more than that, however. First, they need to be able to memorize the entire playbook and know the responsibilities of each player on the offense. They must also accurately read defenses and break down holes in coverage. Then, they have to deliver accurate passes that put their receivers in position to make plays after the catch. To top it off, they have to do all of this while several defenders are coming for them at full speed. As Brady, again under attack, steps out of it and is able to get it to Edelman, who's getting him in field goal range. Number two, goalie, hockey. Hockey goalies are known for being, well, a little quirky to put it nicely, but can you blame them? They have to put their bodies in front of 100 mile per hour slap shots, and only in the last few decades have they started wearing masks. Of course, they also have to be able to skate and have the durability to stop 30 plus shots a game. On top of that, they are typically the target of opposing teams' fans, and if they let in a weak goal, they will immediately hear about it. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Shots in front, they score! Jonathan Cage ties it with 37 seconds remaining! Vidal has gone for the shots. Oh! Not only has he gone for it, he's absolutely nailed it! That's the really fast ball to Courtney Laws. He beats his man into the air and he wants the ball in his hands before the defence reacts. Newton throws and it's intercepted! Earl Thomas with his second interception in two games. Number one, goalkeeper, football. Great save by Neuer. And what a vital save it was. Sure, soccer goalkeepers only face a handful of shots each game. They are responsible for defending an 8 by 24 foot net, however, which would be hard to defend for someone like Shaq, let alone a regular sized human. Jumbia! Joe Hart does get to it! You won't see them wearing any protective gear, despite the fact that players can kick the ball as fast as 70 miles per hour. Plus, they're also responsible for organizing their team's defense due to the fact that they can see the entire field. And if they let in a bad goal, you can almost guarantee they will spend years on the blooper reel. Whoops a daisy! Oh, bam! What a mistake! How on earth did you do that? He completely misjudged it. That has to be the worst mistake that I have ever seen. Do you agree with our list? Which position do you think is the hardest? And he's saying, bang your head. For more great top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. That's a save for the highlight reels.